Okay, so this is part two of our 80 day obsession meal planning um, powwow, as we call it. So let's look at our pre workout meal because what we're going to do now is go through recipes and start making what I'm calling recipe pods or container pods where everything in this list is going to fit this recipe um, or this container block. So what um so nancy and i you are not you and i are going to have the same thing um ellen and amanda you guys are b what container system is your pre-workout meal green, green red yellow and a teaspoon okay and then and so the only thing you're missing from d is a fruit and Grayson, what do you have in your pre-workout meal uh green purple red yellow and a teaspoon Okay, so yours is the exact same as Nancy and I. So all of yours will fit ours. And basically what we're gonna do here is build off a B and you, Grace and Nancy and I will add a fruit. That will be the only difference between what you guys eat in the morning and what us three eat in the morning. Um, so I actually went ahead and pulled the blog post. And let's see. Oh, hold on. Let me screen share with you guys. Okay. Um, you know what that is. Oh, challenge. I'm like, what was I doing? Come on. Yeah, Lynn, you're sucking up all my internet. I know. It like wouldn't work. <laughs> I work hard to like come all the way over here. I did close everything else though. Let me see. Hopefully it'll pull up. Let me come back to all that stuff. Let me see if I can get it going here. Let's see. Being a little extra slow. So um, one of the things I know, um, that I have been using are breakfast burritos because those are super easy to prep the night or, you know, prep in mass and stick in your freezer and then just pop it in the microwave. Um, I will say that I had one yesterday and I had one today. Yesterday's had eggs in it and that I have now, I now know is not a good pre-workout meal for me. Something with eggs does not work for me. So learn from my mistake and don't um, like mouth vomit eggs while you're working out. I don't know that I'm going to be able to pull this up. Hold on. Let's see if it'll do it like this. Okay. So it's just that link, it looks like. Come on, bloggy blog. Sorry, it's taking so long, you guys. Well, 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 well. Uh, let's see. The one that has the like the list of pre-workout and post-workout ones. Yes. You have it pulled up on yours? No, but I saved the ones for Plan B, which is unhelpful for everybody else. Well, it's really not because all that Nancy, Grayson, and I are going to have to do is add a fruit. Okay, because I so, see uh, spinach and bacon, quinoa muffins. Okay. The breakfast burrito. Okay. And the asparagus and eggs. Yep. I think that's on the um, message that Amanda sent me on the, was it, nine pre-workout meals? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, it just, and it, it's going to be that blog post, but my computer is not pulling it up right now um, for whatever reason, which is confusing. It makes me think it's not the internet because it pulled up the, the Beachbody on demand just fine. So I wonder if the blog in general is not, it's not working. Um, yeah, Amanda, you give it a shot. That way we can screen, because I'll just close my screen share and you guys can do it. Um, but let's kind of, Let's see here. Green, red. So this is, this would be, this is another one that would work. You would just take out the blue. 
So that's another thing you guys need to be looking at when you're doing this, whoever is watching this, not just the people on here, but like this Southwest breakfast scramble could be totally usable. Even though it has this blue, the only thing that makes this blue is the avocado. Well, right here, the avocado. Delete the avocado. I mean, it's just that it's that simple to make it fit yours. So I'm going to put that one down. So Southwest breakfast and I would encourage you um, if you are not copying and pasting these or taking screenshots and making yourself a little book out of these things right where you found it oh, yeah. um, because you will start wondering as we get these like huh that was a good idea where did I see that like um, okay um, and this is the blog the bacon scramble and then the breakfast burritos and it's those things you. guys it's what it's beach body i try to get into the blog and it's like they're experiencing technical difficulty yeah. all right I'm coming up either okay no problem we'll work without it it's no big deal mm -hmm. um breakfast what do we say breakfast burritos mm -hmm. and then let's see um now i got those those are the cups um and then we can also just brainstorm guys. I mean, we can also look at our list and see what kind of things are on there and think about what might be a very easy thing to, to pre prep for that. We don't have to use stuff that's already created. Yeah. For it. What I made this morning was um, scrambled eggs and mushrooms and sweet potatoes. Um, and I use grapeseed oil. Okay. To cook it in. Um, and I know Nancy gave me a tip that if you don't cook the eggs all the way, when you warm them up the next morning, it, they're not as dry. Yeah, totally. So I warm, yeah, I warmed mine up in a pan on the stove, um, and they were fine. I mean, I can eat anything, so they were... <laughs> they, they were... were yeah. And it wasn't awful. I mean, I would have eaten it on a normal day, I guess, um, or made it for the kids. So that's a good option. Yeah, that's um, a great option. Ellen, what were you talking about? I'm going to do egg cups. Okay. So I'm going to do like maybe one egg and then I think, I know she's supposed to be revising the container list and putting turkey bacon back on there. Oh, so I think it's real. like, go ahead. Two, it's, I think it's like two slices is one. So I'm going to split my red and do like an egg, turkey bacon, and then I'm probably going to either do like half a container of mushrooms half a container and like split it between mushrooms, broccoli, peppers, and spinach, and like do them in the 12. And then I'm just gonna do whole wheat toast with a teaspoon of peanut butter. Okay, that's a great idea. Um, another way you can modify that, I and I'm, I'm not harping on you, Ellen, everybody can eat what they like, but I am not a big advocate for turkey bacon. Turkeys don't have bacon, so um, it's a fake product. <laughs> um, sorry. And it's really not, I mean, it really doesn't do all that much for you other than control the calories of what you're eating, and your body will need that fat. That's part of that's part of it. So another thing you might think about doing is a slice of nitrate-free ham. I've done egg cups before where I've had the little slice of nitrate-free and I pushed it down in the muffin pan and put the egg and the veggie on top and bake it like that. That's a good idea. Or you could just do like cubed chicken breasts. Totally. Yeah, like any, like anything. I was just doing it like that was... Yeah, no, that's great. I'm just trying to give people lots of options because maybe Ellen, one week you do turkey bacon, the next week you do it with ham, the next week you do it with chicken pieces, next week you do it with ground turkey. I mean, I think that will make it really versatile to what what you can do with oh, that. That's yeah, I definitely want to be able to like that, but this is going to be my like go to breakfast. Yeah, one my pre sorry pre workout because I need something I can just like easily prep a ton of. Yep. What about those uh, sweet potato muffins, the blender sweet potato muffins? Do you, those qualify? How, or they, do you know how that lines up? I can't imagine that would be able to fit because you could have one sweet potato muffin because that'll take your yellow. Well, you can't because you don't even have a purple. I so, don't. 
Yeah, that. Okay. Nope. I'm just curious. Yeah. I I will. That just came to my mind. I like those. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can, I can't see where those can fit in this program. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, yep. And I don't think I said this on the original recording, but we do need to make sure um, one thing I'm and not guilty of, but one thing I do a lot is if I missed a purple in one meal, I will just add it to another meal. Or if I missed a blue over here, you cannot do this in the system. If you oh, miss that yeah. container, skip it. Friends, please. Yeah, which stinks because I, I realize like why logically you would want to do that but the way that each of these container pods is set up is very specifically so all of those specific nutrients work with that specific meal um and so we need to not be swapping containers because i was already I, I almost did that yesterday because i forgot my blue and i was like oh well i can just no i can't just add it to dinner like that's not the way this program works so um and right now kim we're just recipe sharing for the pre-workout meal Okay. So, um, and you can, I'll, I'm going to post what we've come up with because what we determined was that we're going to base it all off of B since that's our lowest common denominator. And then anybody in higher brackets than that will just add the container that they need to that meal. Um, so like okay. you guys are B and y'all get every, we get everything you guys get, except we get an extra fruit. Okay. So it's easy for me to make egg cups with veggies and toast and have a half a banana with it. Mm -hmm. So super, super easy there. Uh, we have the spinach, quinoa cups, Southwest breakfast, breakfast burritos, eggs, um, and sweet potatoes and mushrooms, egg cups with toast, peanut butter, and veggies. What else, guys? Can you think of anything else off the top of your head or that you've pulled yeah, already? Yeah, if you scroll up, there's... Uh, a poached egg like a savory poached egg and yeah. that looks really yummy i made that for dinner last night was it like super oh, good yeah uh, it was very good i can't imagine having it for breakfast oh really was it like super heavy um no i go ahead and try it um well you would have to take out the olives just be sure yeah. to do that um could you do that ahead of time? Because that's poaching, my thing. We can't really poach it ahead of time. And that's that's the only thing. Like it's, cool. I don't know how you would prep this. That was mostly for my like maybe on a Saturday. I feel like like yes. I'm gonna get special. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to do it on a Saturday or a day where you have a different timeline, I just cannot imagine personally at five fifteen poaching it. Mm -hmm. No, I was totally not going to do that, but I was like, it sounded good for like a, like a special day. Yeah, I had it for dinner last night and that's what I'll have for lunch again today. Was um, it really filling for dinner? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't hungry afterwards, but I feel like I also have to base that on the fact that I ate continuously all day long and my body was nourished. I'm like, nutrientized. <laughs> nutrientized. <laughs> I'm making up all kinds of new words. My body was nourished, you know, like my brand name. So that would make sense and all. I like your other word. <laughs> Nutrienized. <laughs> yes. I think I'm going to coin that one too. I think we should patent that word. <laughs> Nutrienized. Copyright that, whatever. <laughs> but I will say, and this is just an aside about this specific recipe, having made it last night, uh, make it in a big pan or okay. something because it was at I have a you know like a normal cast iron size pan um like a lodge brand one the very like average one that you would see and it filled it to where there was like that much room at the top there was not enough room to sit a, a um lid on it and have them poach that way Ooh, I like that okay yeah, just make sure you make a little side note that you need a bigger pan for that one. Okay. Um, and I, I couldn't even put the kale in it. I had to serve it over top of spinach because it was too full to put it in a lot of it. Um, okay, so I'd love to get, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'd love to get about three more um, breakfast or pre-workout ideas down if we can. Um, <laughs> I remember seeing a couple. I just I don't remember where, and and that's part of part of doing this is 
you know, having a file that you can reference quickly. Yes. Um, but and I'm going to put all of this together and send it out as one big package to everybody. Um, cool. Hopefully before the end of the day tomorrow so that you will have all of this lined up. I'm trying to think of other things. It's so hard because it's like eggs are a really good go-to for like your red. So you could do like two eggs over easy or even scrambled or whatever with. Well, what about a hard boiled? Can't we do well, I mean. Yeah, you could do that. Okay. So so the first day. Two hard boiled eggs and, and a fruit or what? Yeah. No, we can't do a fruit in the morning. The green. But no. you can do asparagus or even broccoli or spinach. For your green. What, did you, what were you saying, Amanda? Bro. Um, the first morning I tried it, I did two hard boiled eggs and then the roasted sweet potatoes the night before from, from dinner. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. And it was really good. Um, what did you use your green fault with? Well, I didn't necessarily plan. I was just like, I'm going to try this this morning. So I didn't have a green that morning. Okay. Um, and it would just, I, I don't know. So, but if you have the power greens, um, like I did the power greens for my post workout. So you can always add the power greens in. <laughs> I second Danielle's face. <laughs> you want to talk about those? They're not that bad, but can you imagine drinking them and then going and doing a full on workout? Mm. No. no, I could not. But, um, uh, the rest of the day, they wouldn't be bad as long as you're not jumping around, but I don't think that that won't taste good coming back up. But what yeah. you could do with those roasted sweet potatoes is roast mm -hmm. some um, carrot with them. Like Carrots, yeah. Or even um, asparagus. I mean. Yeah, or asparagus I mean, with roast and roasted veggies. So mm -hmm. grab a veggie that you have uh, and throw it in there. I would recommend before a workout not doing onions or peppers or something like that. Mm -hmm. They're very... Um, yeah. It, it's very normal for people to have indigestion of those, so I would um, avoid those. Even the mushrooms this morning, I was like, oh, mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. See, and I, I had, th so this morning, this is what, um, this is what I had. I had a breakfast burrito with ground turkey, mushrooms, and spinach. Oh, and I will say it worked out very, very well. Like, I didn't have any kind of indigestion. I didn't have any kind of sitting feeling where it's sitting right here. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like that was maybe a little more easily digestible. Um, okay. So maybe that's what we can do is just um, for the other two ones, we can do other types of breakfast burritos. So you don't have to do them with eggs. Do so you, um, go can, ahead. You freeze, can you freeze those breakfast yes. burritos? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I would wrap them in like wax paper or wrap them in saran wrap and stick them in the freezer like all lined up together. Okay. I haven't looked. Do we have any like sausage that works? I did chicken sausage yesterday and I didn't, I don't think that's a problem. I've used chicken sausage in 21 day fix with no issues. I have venison sausage and it has very little fat in it at all. Yeah. I just hadn't really, I really didn't, I don't have my thing open. To look at yeah, I've got mine open. Um, and I know she said she was like adding in. Mm -hmm. Right. Another thing would be um, a turkey. This is something that I saw on the blog. Um, those turkey um, burger patties. Oh, yes, yes, that's what I saw. Yeah. Tur so a turkey burger patty with toast and you could do tomatoes. I mean, make it like eating a turkey burger for breakfast. I mean, tomatoes and lettuce. So question yeah. for plan B, we have a carb. So if we did one piece of toast, whole wheat or whole grain. I would do whole grain toast, just one. And that's fine. I think that that's approved on here for yellow. Um, I mean, I know yeah. corn tortillas are, so I can't imagine they wouldn't do a piece of toast. Yeah, bread, whole grain or sprouted. So that you're looking at Dave's. Uh, Eureka would be a good brand. Dave's is a good brand. Alpine Organic. Um, 
just making sure that you're looking at clean. And that goes for the same thing with the turkey burger patties. Make sure that you're not buying crap food, guys. Like, make sure that it doesn't have a bunch of filler ingredients in it. Um, or make them yourself. I mean, that's even easier. Make a bunch of them all during your prep day and go on. So we need to move on to our post-workout meal. So we can keep time moving because we have about 45 minutes or so. Or less than. Um, so, all right, B ladies, what do y'all have for post workout? I'm gonna do a turkey, that turkey burger. No, what are your containers? Same oh. as pre workout, equal. Yeah. So, green, red, yellow, and a teaspoon? And a teaspoon. Right. The teaspoon is the fat, correct? Yes. Um, Grayson, what do you have in plan E? Go, go. Uh, for post workout, one green, two red, one yellow, and a teaspoon. Okay, so we have the exact same thing. Yeah, so that's easy. So you'll follow the same ones we will, Grayson. Okay. Um, so I will tell you. Let's see. I pulled up some earlier. So some post workout options. We have eggs, sausage. Well, this is going to have an extra red in it, you guys. So y'all just delete either the eggs or the sausage. Egg, sausage, spinach, a wrap, and then just make sure when you're sauteing um, your spinach or what or whatever veggie you use, you use a little bit of oil, um, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, you know, some kind of oil. How many sausage equals one red? Say that again. How many sausage links equal one red? You're going off of ounces, so you need to look. I mean, it depends on the size of your link. I can't say. So uh, red is a four is four ounces. Um, let's see. So uh, sweet potatoes, sausage, pepper, and onions. This is very similar to what I did this morning. I made basically a scramble in a in the pan. Um, another idea was lettuce. So basically, like a lettuce wrap. So this is very similar to that pre workout meal with the turkey patty, onion, tomato, lettuce. Um, sweet potatoes and olive oil. So you're basically looking at like um, a turkey burger or a really lean beef burger or a venison burger. Um, and you can even get ground chicken now. So ground chicken burger uh, with sweet potato fries. Like you don't have to slice them up like cubes, slice them up like fries and make yourself, you know, that way you're feeling like something different. Another way to do it, and this is something that I've learned just after three years of eating clean, so sweet potatoes in particular are really good for this as well as um, butternut squash, but you can cube them. You can rice it and eat it like a rice. So stick it in your food processor and have it like a rice. You can put them in like French fry shapes or you can shred them and make it into like a hash scramble. I will say when you shred them, especially the butternut squash, it almost comes into like a cheese like consistency. And it's really, really satisfying. Um, so let's see. That's one, two, three. Let's come up with about four more if we can. If you go on the recipe one that you had, those chicken tinga tacos looked really good. Chicken tinga tacos. Kind of like maybe a lunch, but like it's easily prepped. That's, that looks um, good. Cheesy. cheesy steak skillet. Yeah. That looks good. And that would be a really good one. I, Kim, I don't know if you were on this when we were talking about it or not. Or if this was, I can't remember which, which um, recording that was on. But this, all you would have to do is take out the blue. Like, so what's the blue? It's the cheese. Don't put cheese, in it. cheese. You just don't eat cheese with it. I mean, it's really easy to do without. Let's put that one down because that might be another. Um, For number two. Yeah, for number two. Yeah, so you there's could, a blue in number two. Yeah, exactly. So we could, yeah, you, will you write maybe a number two. I don't want you to mess up your thing there, but because um, mm -hmm. that way we'll, we can come back to that too. And another thing is you guys are talking about how your post-workout and your pre-workout meals are very similar. Mm -hmm. Pull from our other list. Now we're double dipping, like super easy. So for us, instead of having that fruit, we're just having an extra protein instead. Um, same for you, Grayson. Instead of having that fruit, have an extra protein. Very, very easy. Um, steak skillet. 
Um, you said the chicken tinga tacos. Did I miss that one already? I feel like I did. Um, nope, there they are. Chicken tinga tacos. And see for this one, this is another one. All you would have to do, all plan D and above would have to do is add a little more chicken to this. Um, and if we wanted to do that for that other one with the blue, add cheese to it. Like we get the cheese and you guys don't get the cheese maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't get the cheese, man. <laughs> um, no, I actually have no idea. You might get the cheese later on anyway. But you can have an avocado or cheese or something like that to add to it. Um, there was one in here. Where is it? I feel like it was up top. Um, yeah, sweet potato and chicken wraps. Okay, so that doesn't quite line up, does it? Where we have green, right? So no, we'd have to take the orange out. What is that? Can be a meal three. That can be a dinner, a dinner meal. Okay, a dinner meal. So three is the sweet potato and chicken wraps. Um, so yeah, those look really good, by the way. I, I looked at these the other day and I'm like, oh my God, those look so good. Um, so that is good. Um, what else are we doing here? Mm -hmm. Three. Trying to think of my 21 day fix recipes as well. Let me, um, or here, let me look in fixate. Um, Amanda, will you, will you look in your fixate as well? See what we have in the breakfast area. Cause the thing with a lot of us that post-workout meal is going to be breakfasty. So, um, like I personally don't want chicken tinga tacos at eight 30 in the morning. Um, well, why not? Well, you know, things. So that one to me sounds good. That would be a good one to do those poached eggs with asparagus toast. Um, so that's another one. So you just need, you would need to delete the, the lemon garlic sauce. So it would be the poached eggs with asparagus toast with no lemon garlic sauce. Because um, a lot of that's free, isn't it? No, probably not. Because it's counting as an orange in this one. Where does like, your container say? Because mine is like yogurt. Yeah. Egg yolk. Oh, that's why. So you could take out that. And just yeah. yeah. So just squirt some lemon on there. What did you say, Kim? Oh, no, I was saying for the poached egg with asparagus toast, I put that on my list of stuff. Yeah. Like, that sounds good, but it's like, uh, you need to add, like, it's weird because my container, I don't know, maybe my thing is wrong because it just says, like, half a green. Yeah. So then just do more asparagus. One yellow. And half red, obviously, and then the half an orange you could take away or mm -hmm. add more in and do it at, for dinner. See, but, in my opinion, that's incorrect because you're eating two eggs with this, right. and two eggs is one one red. Thing. Right. There was a lot. There was a lot of revisions to the book, so my guess would be, did you get that off of the blog, Ellen? No, I got this off of. This is like in my like fixate cookbook, which yeah. is like when it first came out. Yeah, this one. It's on the blog. I didn't look at like the revised one because it they don't have it circled as an 80 day obsession friendly one. Probably you because you're having to take out stuff and they're not going to, unless they're going to revise the entire recipe, my guess is they're not willing to take out the lemon garlic sauce because they believe that that makes the recipe Probably. poached eggs with lemon. So that's the hollandaise sauce. Well, squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on there and you have the lemon flavor. So I feel like that that's still totally acceptable. It is. The, the middle of the egg is going to be creamy. So exactly. you're going to have something wet there. It's not on the floor. We don't want only go. There, there's a portobello mushroom and goat cheese omelet in the fixate. Oh that sounds amazing. What page? It's uh, page 111. 111. 
And then it's a green, red, and blue, and then a teaspoon. So oh. we would just. No goat cheese. B would take out a blue and add a green. Yep. So, so double your veggies and no cheese. Yeah. Mushroom omelet. And if you don't like mushrooms, use spinach or kale or peppers or onions. Like this post-workout one, you can include those things that you would not normally want to eat and then go work out and do. So it's okay to have some different veggies that you would not normally want to eat. And then no cheese. Let's see here. What do we got? This, nope. Just kidding. Uh, let's see. You know, there's a lot with purples, but yeah, it's not adding up. Oh. No, they're not. Um, I was gonna say because the other thing that I have not included in any of mine so far is Greek yogurt. Yeah, Greek I have. Yogurt. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, the first day I did a, um, I had a shake and, uh, oh wait, let me go back to that. I had the Greek yogurt, oatmeal, and I put peanut butter in it. And then I just mixed it all together. It wasn't bad. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. And then of course I did my glass of power greens. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, but you would have to add a veggie and power mm -hmm. greens would be a really yeah. easy way to add a veggie or you could just snack on carrots or celery. Right. celery or snow peas or just something fresh with it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would make those raw veggies because eating a yogurty thing and then being like, mmm, this is <laughs> cooked vegetables. Yeah. Maybe it would taste good on celery. Who, who knows? You could experiment. Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, Okay, I feel like we have a good list of post-workout meals too, especially because so many of those pre-workout meals could be doubled for a post-workout meal. Right. Mm -hmm. Very, very easy. Okay, let's just keep going down the list then. Uh, meal option one, what do you guys have? <clears throat> I'm just um, doing a shake with yeah, the banana and peanut butter. Like for Green, purple, red, spoon. What, yeah, what are your container colors? Oh, God, I keep forgetting oh, they're not. purple, on. red, and a spoon. So purple, red, and a spoon. Yeah. So we just have to add a green to it. Yeah. So for anything, so Grace and, um, and Nancy, we just need to add a, um, so let's just keep that one as a Shakeology because I feel like that that is seriously the simplest yeah. thing we can do there. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's, um, in the meal plan, one of the examples, that's what that is. I think it is, It's Shakeology with like spinach or kale. Yep. And so here's another thing um, that there, there's a couple of vegetables that work really, really well, Grayson and Nancy, with shakes that I have tried before that you cannot taste them. Spinach is one of them. That's a great one. You cannot taste it blended in yeah. a, don't not in your shake. Bar. <laughs> Being real clear in case people are watching, um, and they're like, "Oh, I'll shake it with some spinach." Um, <laughs> but what is happening over there, Ellen? Are you they are having some lovely amounts of fun. I'm not really sure what's happening. <laughs> I hear that. Um, okay, so spinach is a good one. Oddly enough, cauliflower, cooked cauliflower, like steamed cauliflower, mm -hmm. it makes it very foamy and frothy, and you cannot taste it. Shredded zucchini. That's another super easy one to prep and stick in your freezer. Shred a bunch of zucchini, stick them in little individually portion sized bags. And that way you also are getting that frozenness that you would get from like a frozen fruit. But from that front, you cannot taste it whatsoever. Just kind of makes it a little foamier and frothier. I should say in the chocolate. My mm -hmm. guess is in the vanilla, you are going to be able to taste it. Is that for both of them chocolate? I, yeah, I would, if you're going to be mixing it, what do you have? Do you have chocolate or cafe latte? I got okay. the individual packets okay. variety. Okay. Yeah, cafe latte, my guess is you wouldn't be able to taste it in there. And my guess is in the chocolate, you wouldn't either. But I really feel like the vanilla, you'd be able to yeah. taste it. Um, okay. Flash veggie. Okay. That's super easy. And then, so let's move on to meals two and three. What are your container counts for meal two? Green, purple, blue. Uh -uh. Amanda, can you go? She's 
cutting out. Green, oh, green, purple, and blue. Green, purple, blue. Good gracious. Y'all get red or yellow. <laughs> oh. Okay, so y'all are going to kind of need to be, I mean, that, that's significantly different. Yeah. Like, those are almost completely different meals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, because we have a carb and a, and a meat oh, wow. for that meal. So we can have the cheesy steak skillet. Yeah, so we can have, so go ahead and write this down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All that cheese. I'll just want to smell it. You can have the steak skillet without the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> no, cheesy steak skillet without the and cheese. we get to have it on bread. <laughs> or with a oh, no. <laughs> But for an example, Plan B, you could do uh, a veggie and hummus and a fruit. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah. coming off of those things, I refresh and like super prep, like an actual meal. Yeah. We're gonna have to like just kind of get like the actual containers of some stuff that fits in there. Mm -hmm. We don't have a carb and we don't have protein, so it's like a mishmash. Mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of but I feel like it'd be an easy grab and go as long as you knew what you were doing. It is. You could just, I just like celery and like half a banana and you're done. Yeah, the option in here. Uh, Grayson, what does that add for you? For meal two? Yeah. Um, I have two green, a purple, a red, a yellow, a green, and a teaspoon. Another green or blue? It's a blue. A blue. It's Okay. Okay. That's the thing that okay, so we have the same meal two options. Okay. I still don't see where you're varying. Did you vary on meal one? Uh, what did y'all have for meal one? Green, purple, red, and a teaspoon. I had I had two green. Okay. okay. All right. Oh. Um, so you may just have a side of raw veggies with your shake. That's what I did yeah. yesterday when I did mine. Um, I, instead of mixing my green into my shake, I just ate snow peas while I was drinking it. Um, so let's see what else we got here. Two greens, a purple, a red, a yellow, and a blue. Let's see if there's anything good in here. This quinoa tabouli bowl would be really good. Ooh, um, Because that way, all you would have to add is with veggie and cheese or avocado. Okay. So that uh, also works as a pre or post workout. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It sure does. Look at that. Yeah, awesome. Good job. Or you could do it for dinner and just add an orange. You could put like some almonds on there or something. Oh, that would be great. Good idea. That would be good. Well, and we, I don't know, Grayson, what your meal three is, but we get an orange mm -hmm. in our mm -hmm. meal three. Yeah. Yeah, we do too. That's why I was like, you can just add that in for meal three. For Yeah, that's great. <clears throat> okay let's see here turkey sloppy joes we have a green a red and a yellow you guys don't get a red or a yellow so this would not work for meal plan b but i feel like it will work for meal three right <clears throat> yeah. it, i have that down yeah because meal three for dinner okay But again, it could also be a post-workout. Yeah. Or you just add the cedar dressing for meal three. So pretty interchangeable there. Perfect. Oh, and see down here for us that need, if we're going to use it and need two greens, Grayson, mm -hmm. to serve it over zucchini noodles or steamed vegetables. So just pour oh. the floppy dough over top of veggies. That's okay. <clears throat> Y'all are making me hungry. I know, I've, right? I've never made mm -hmm. this, but my kids actually love it. So this was like one of my go-to like fixate recipes that are like super family friendly. Yeah. Fun. 
and it's super easy to just give it to kids because all you need is bread to put it on for them. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy if us like plan beers want to use that and you can like prep it or not. Mm -hmm. You have to add it on somewhere. Okay. Like instead of a bread, you get it in a spoon. Yeah, if you guys, um, or Grayson, I should say, for a yellow, these peanut butter oatmeal bars, instead of having bread, you could have one of the peanut butter oatmeal bars. Okay. Let's see what else we got on here. This is working out so well, you guys. Yes, I love this. Thank you, ladies. Oh, I'm so glad to be doing this. Like, there's so much to choose from that you're like, oh, wait, I could do this. Wait, I could also do this. And you're like, oh, my gosh, there's so much. There is. It really, I mean, it, when you, and this is kind of what we were talking on the team call or the, yeah, the team call yesterday. It, you're so fearful until you just put your pen to the piece of paper and start writing. Like, yeah. just start. You have to start looking at it. Um, these must be, like, treats or something because Looking at double chocolate chips, they are like this. It's in the snack section. Oh, I'm, I'm like, why are there brownies and cookies? And <laughs> Chickpea brownies are awesome. Yes, it's those are so. FYI. Oh, they really are. So, uh, plan beers like uh, post workout, you could have um, a brownie with a protein and a veggie. I don't know what you would do, but to be the carb and the fat. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. I mean, it's super easy. Like it, it seems super overwhelming. Like if you've never used the containers, but honestly, like once you start really using the system, it is so easy. It becomes so easy to like, be like, Oh wait, I can just mix and match this. And even if it's yeah. something you haven't like prepped, you're like, wait, I'm just going to add, I can add this in and you will just start to really know what, yeah and feel comfortable with it. Yeah. Totally. Uh, Nancy just made a good point. Do you got, y'all get a, um, a yellow with your pre-workout, right? Yeah. These yeah. Peanut butter chocolate balls and those oatmeal bars would be great to have pre-prepped. Oh yeah. yeah. I totally saved this recipe because I plan on. Let me just tell you something though. Uh, one peanut butter ball. That is not oh. going to put my face. <laughs> I can't handle that. Depends on how big you make it. How big? <laughs> it's like a whole bowl. You said one. I mean, it's one. If you've got large hands, then I suppose. <laughs> Darn weight. Uh, that is, I mean, I'm going to do it sometimes because here's the other thing that we need to be looking at, guys. I mean, I feel like we've got some really great options going here. Um, this stuff is so easy to post about. Close the refrigerator. It is so easy to post about as you're building a business and as you're encouraging others to post about these. Oh, cool. My items sold on eBay. <laughs> I know. I was reading. <laughs> I'm getting I'm like, what did Jeremy buy on eBay? No, <laughs> no I sold a um, camera. That's exciting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Well, I'm trying to streamline, guys. I'm trying to get crap out of my house, not pull stuff into my house. Um, but this kind of stuff encourages people that we are not doing what other people are doing, that we are not deprived, that we aren't. And I'm not, and I realize like I'm going to post this publicly uh, or on my YouTube thing. So anybody technically will be able to see it. And we have a lot of people who do Whole30 and there's nothing wrong with that. But there are certain programs of eating that are deprivation based and what even what 80 day obsession is as strict and as focused as this is we are not deprived like we're just not and so showing that to other people showing them that you're still able to get kick hopefully no kids are listening kick ass results and still have a peanut butter chocolate ball before you go work out <laughs> people want that right. like people want sustainability and this is the stuff that on week three and week four when I'm pissy because everybody around me is eating they've obviously given up on their resolutions <laughs> like, they're eating donuts and chocolate cake 
I mean, on I the 19th when we feel lost. satisfied and maintain an eye on my goal. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. and this is the kind of stuff like these peanut butter chocolate balls, Grayson and Amanda, I know you guys work outside the home and Nancy, you work outside mm -hmm. the home, right? Or oh, you not? Yeah. Okay. So I knew you were with Jocelyn's at one point, but when you go to an event, mm -hmm. make sure that you put a meal that you have a yellow in and take this as a thing and eat this yeah. and enjoy it. Absolutely. And that way you don't feel deprived and you don't feel like you can't go to social events because that's one of the things like somebody, I think Ellen, you had said, well, it's going to make date night hard. And I know you were kidding, but you're not the only person to ever think that it's hard when you put yourself in that mindset of, Oh, I'm not going to be able to go on date night. Oh, I'm not going to be able to go to my company party. Oh, I'm not going to be able to participate in our potluck at church. You can absolutely do that. You just have to be intentional about it. So it's take true. something that you can eat or look at the menu of the restaurant that you guys are going to go to for lunch after church on Sunday and decide, okay, well, these are the things that I can have and go and enjoy it and love it. Post about it and show people that you can live life and still get really amazing results. And don't be afraid to ask the chef to change things. Yeah, absolutely. A lady I talked to, she's vegetarian and that's what she did. And she said, you'd be shocked oh, yeah. at the options there are that aren't on that menu. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that idea. So do you guys feel good about this? Do you feel like you have some really good options? Cause we got to hop off of here and go live our lives. So, um, do y'all feel like there's a, a piece lacking here that you want to talk about before we leave other than pumpkin whoopie pie? Because <laughs> that's missing in my life. It's missing in my life. Mm. So I, I think it, yeah, just going through it together and mm -hmm. you know, just discussing it is very helpful. Totally. And yeah. So, totally. and then it's just walking through it and doing it and contacting right. y'all when I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. That's right. Like guys, we're doing this together. If we need to set up a text thread because Facebook sucks you in, set up a text thread, go into team nourished and say, Hey guys, who all like send me your phone numbers. Our group is private. Nobody's going to spam you with phone calls. Like your phone number's out there a thousand ways anyway. So, um, like lean on each other. If you know, you're going to have a hard day, text me, text Ellen, text Kim, text Amanda or Grayson or somebody else and say, I'm really worried about this. I'm really nervous about this, guys. I, this is new to all of us. So, and I'm, I'm not just speaking to the ones here on the call. I'm also speaking to the ones who are watching the very end of this recording, which won't be very many, but that is what our, our system of accountability is for, is to lean on one another and to get through this together. Because at the end of the 80 days, I want us to be as a team closer together. Not just, I don't, I don't just want to see Grayson lose 15 pounds or Ellen get shredded abs. Like I want to see us grow together as human beings. Like I want to see us at the end of 80 days, not go to day 81 and start eating the way we ate before. Like that's worthless. That means none of this all was for nothing. And that's not okay. I'm not saying you can't enjoy something on day 81, but to reset bad habits immediately, that's what everybody else does. That's not what we do. So, well, and that's the biggest thing about this whole sustainability thing is like, it's changing my mindset and focusing more on the people. I grew up in uh, an environment where food was the focus whenever we got together. So it's revamping the way I think about it. And that food is important, but I'm feeding myself just to fuel myself. But the person sitting across from me is more important than what I'm stuffing my face with. Oh, yeah. So my, just finding that intentional stuff. My mother-in-law used to joke. She said, we live to eat and other people eat to live. And thinking back, I'm like, wow, we were living to eat. And it shouldn't yes. be that way. I mean, you should enjoy eating, but you should yeah. eat. So, that you, so I'm trying to revamp my whole thought process, too. Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah, I'm leaving for Florida here shortly, and the first thing my dad asked me was, what do you want to eat when you get here? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, it's totally normal, and I mean, I think I've been real honest in my, you know, social media stuff, in that, um, here, and I'm, I'm going to stop the, I'm going um, to stop the recording. Bye, guys. Thank you for whoever watched the recording. <laughs> uh, 
Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. 